Okay, so now we're going to do another example of using long division to divide two polynomials. So, first thing I want to do is I want to rewrite it the way, um, you know, with the divisor bar. So, who's going to go out in front if it's written this way? Yeah, it's x minus 1. Whatever I'm dividing by comes out in front, so x minus 1. Now, inside of here, I want to put this... Um, I want two things to happen. I want every degree to be represented. So what's the highest degree I have here? To the third. So then do I have x squared? Yep. yep. Do I have x to the first? Yep. Do I have a single number by itself? Yep. Yes. So I don't need to use any zero placeholders this time because everybody's already accounted for. What I should do, though, is put it in here in standard form. That's going to help me keep everything all lined up. So I don't want to write it like I see it. What do I want to write? There you go. I want it to be in descending order for my exponent. So x to the third, x squared, x, and then no x at all. OK? I don't need any zero placeholders. I'm ready to begin. So remember, the first question that you ask yourself is? Are we starting with negative x squared? You always, yep, you start always with this guy right here. So what number gets multiplied by x squared to get x squared? x to the third. Yep, first one and first one. So what do I multiply x by to get x to the third? x squared. So that goes on top in the x squared column. Well, I want all of my x squareds here, all of my x's here, all the single numbers here. And that's going to help me keep, keep everything organized. So now we'll do x squared times this binomial. So x squared times negative 1, negative x squared, and then x squared times x, x to the third, right? But then I... I subtract them both. So now he's a minus, and now he is plus. Ooh, they both cancel this time. So that one's gone, and this one's gone. I'm still going to write this down here just to keep things organized. And now I'm going to bring down the plus x. So here's a question for you. What do you multiply x by to get 0x zero squared? Zero. 0. Well, 0x, zero right? So I'm going to put on top 0x. That's OK. Right, don't put just x, because you, yeah, that, exactly. That would really indicate 1x, and that's not what we mean. So now let's multiply. 0x times negative 1, it's still just a 0x, right? And then 0x times x is a 0x squared. I subtract them both. Doesn't really matter. But now over here, what do I get? x. Bring down the minus 1. What do I multiply x by to get x? A positive 1. So on top here, I put a positive 1. I'm going to multiply positive 1 times everything out here. So 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. 1 times x is x. But then I subtract, subtract them both. So now you're a minus and you're a plus. Those are gone. Negative 1 plus 1 is? What does it mean if your remainder is 0? It divided in evenly. It divided in perfectly nicely. So what that means is if we had taken the time to try and factor this, we would have been able to cancel them out. All right? So my final answer, though, you're not going to write uh, plus 0x as part of your answer. Your final answer would just be what? x squared plus 1. There it is. OK? So don't get nervous if some things cancel out. You're just going to work through it the same way. OK? Just put in a 0 and keep operating.